These soldiers, who were only identifying by their Ukrainian military call signs, have been launching drones at Russian targets for much of the war. Now they're testing a new model, which some believe could be a game changer. So far with this technology, we can bypass all jamming systems, says one soldier who goes by the call sign Crab. If you look carefully, trailing behind a thin fiber optic cable, it stays attached to the base station, giving an uninterrupted signal. Ukraine and Russia have increasingly used small, relatively inexpensive drones to target each other. But drone jammers, which interrupt the radio communication between the drone and the operator, can cause them to go off course. Cabled drones, which can also carry munitions like grenades, are immune to that. Inside this production facility, Vlad, who we're only identifying by his first name for security reasons, shows how he's designing the drones to get them to fly further. Uh, it is our spool. It is fiber inside. And so the cable would just unwrap? Yeah, yeah. like a fishing line, but not so strong as fishing line. If we use fiber on the drone, we have not uh, any signals uh, which can be scanned by Russians. And the only surefire way to bring them down is to shoot them out of the sky. Keep you guys posted on. on Troy Smothers on is a former U.S. Role. Marine who's been working to help test the drones. <laughs> but it's going to take a little probing. Well, the drones being used by both Russia and Ukraine have a range of about 20 kilometers. Others that can fly further are currently being tested. But as the technology develops, it will have wider implications. Last year, when U.S. officials were concerned that rogue drones could target the Super Bowl, they had jamming equipment on standby. That won't work with cable drones, and shooting them out of the sky is often not an option in crowded public places. You're not pitting this genie back in the bottle. They're already looking for effective countermeasures to go against fiber, and it is, uh, you know, warfare always evolves.